How did you get the first idea to create the installation inside? I tried to work with kind of a, a labyrinth, but instead of the normal labyrinth that starts on the floor and ends somewhere above eye level, my labyrinth is coming from the ceiling and stops in, in crotch height. And um, that's, that's kind of a sub-theme of the exhibition, uh, a focus on the legs. We tend to focus on the top and we only use the legs and to, to walk or for sexual activities. And I, I thought they deserve uh, special attention. And does that relate to the legs of the chairs that are hanging in certain, certain sculptures that are positioned quite high up that are based on chair legs? I tried to find a way to, to work with sculptures on the wall and in, in everyday culture people hang guns, crosses and trophies on the wall and that was kind of my, my initial. Well, why did you pick chair legs? Is this, is this part of a sort of leg theme? This design was invented by the British carpenter Chippendale and he tried to imitate uh, human legs with his table legs. And I just took them apart and dismantled them and put them together in the wrong way. The paintings in there, though, why do you alter them in that way? Because these people, they have these sort of prostheses on their faces. When I change the people, they're not them to, to wear these forever. It's, it's more an apparatus for desire than an instrument of torture. A large queue is forming of people. We're going to see your work. Yeah. How do you want them to experience it? It's crucial that the people are actually going inside because you need uh, quite some public that it's the whole thing becomes a little bit humorous. It's not a construction that works without the legs and it's just something nice and elegant. Right. I'm over. Sorry. You're the first artist I've ever met who's obsessed with legs. There was always, in a maybe very naive way, admiring fetishists because I thought they have some kind of a secret key uh, that opens up a completely different world for them. Well, I think your work really has legs, as we say in English. What does it mean? It means it's good. <laughs> it means it's got a strong foundation. <laughs>